field. Rifles off through turns one and two. Your early leader down the back straightaway, Kale Westover. In that 15 car, he is going to lead lap number one. Jake Tim files back in the second spot. Contact between Casey Fowler and the two S.S. Oh. Smith. That sends Fowler at the racetrack and the 65 exit. Carlos Amato Jr. nearly got collected there. MTS victory to his credit a couple of morning seasons ago. Did you just see Amato up I on the bike? I sure did. My goodness. Oh, oh and Boone. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Boy. oh, oh big oh. problems. That's Jason, Jason Hughes. Hughes. Oh, my Lanta. Dyson and Dyson through that second set now. Come on, Casey Fowler trying to take it to the 49 of Jake Tim. Now he gets tight. That uh, is going to take the two double S of Smith to his inside. Smith gets tight. In turns one and two, he gets into oh, Fowler. Oh, goodness. Look at the top. Now five. Fowler's got a broke left front. Yes, he does. When you can see it. When Smith got into him, I do believe that broke the left front of the 64, so we'll have to see. How Fowler handles back straight away. Now all he's got to do is catch the leader. Watch starting through the turns one and two into the racetrack over here. He makes a lot of hay. That car just squats at the bottom of the racetrack Look at and that. turns in the center of the corner, gets Look up and that. goes. That's where he's fastest right now, making his ground. He's in the second spot, trying to come after the 15 of Kale Westover. Right now, Westover out in front by about a second and a half. Oh, turns three and four. Sarden on the bottom, Westover up top. Sarden going to pick the pocket of the 15 this time into one and two, I'm, I'm a, I believe. Two tens of a second that time, and we might use the pick here. Westover on the outside, going to hang on to the top spot. Ramirez hugging the bottom, going to make Sarden change his line. He's out of that groove, Eric. He's been so comfortable the last 10, 15 laps as we cross halfway. Yeah, but look, that time through three and four, Sarden able to stay with Westover. Now he's to the inside of the 15W. Side by side for the lead down the back straightaway to turns three and four. Sarden on the bottom, Westover to the right-hand side. At the line, Westover that time by 48 thousandths of a second. 48 one thousandths of a second, and now Westover going to fall victim to the pick in the lap traffic. It's going to be Jim Chisholm holding up the 15W, and Westover now falling even further behind. And Sarton going to get sideways in one. He's off the racetrack. He's off the racetrack, but manages to hold on My to it. Jake goodness. Tim rolls by Westover as the 410. And the Christian with a good restart into turns one and two. Yes, it was. And there. Oh, and Sarton going to go up the racetrack. We've got one upside down. Is that Carlos Amato? Takes the battle for third off of turn number four to the white flag. One lap to go. Sarton once again for the final time into turns one and two down the back straight away. Bear chassis three weeks ago. Tonight, it's a race-winning car. Gentleman Jack Sarton does it tonight at the Rocket Raceway Park. Second spot. Yeah, it was. That was great. I didn't know if I'd ever go win one of these things. These guys are so good, and uh, it's just hard when you don't race with them all the time. Luckily, I got Tyler Davis. He tells me everything to do. I just drive it. So the car was excellent tonight. I kind of found me a groove that worked. I just gassed the hell out of it. <laughs> Man, it looked like in the middle of the race, your car was the best on the bottom. There was a point in the race, it looked like you had 75 horse on the field. Did you feel as much faster as the stopwatch said you were? Yeah, down here in three and four, there was a little thin strip and I could literally get the car turned in and put it on the mat and just drive all the way through three and four wide open. And I knew, I kept going, man, this is gonna go away. This is gonna go away. It stayed with me the whole race. So I was, I was lucky for that. Got a little treacherous over in one and two. Last few restarts, you decided to go up to the top, even though you really had were making a lot of hay and probably were better on the bottom. Did you feel like at that point, once you were able to set the pace, that was just a safer way to be? Oh, definitely. And I want to apologize to Gary. Me and Gary are good friends, and I went in there and hit that hole and wiped him out. I hope he finished. I don't think I tore it up too bad, but I just couldn't do anything. I mean, I went in there and hit the hole, and I had it turned all the way left, and I had it on the wood trying to make a turn. It just didn't happen.